as you are used to. Here is my new video. Using the magnetism to gravity translation, which is much easier for us to understand, I show that magnetic generators like the ones you see all over the internet can't work. When this machine you see is fully assembled, let's see how it works and what actually happens. As can be seen, the central cylinder should rotate as soon as the side panels are closed. You can see this effect on YouTube and it's even patented. But that doesn't mean much. Let's wait for the movement to end and now look at the true effect. In fact, the cylinder will move a little, but it will not start moving smoothly in one direction. It will only assume a position where the attractive and repulsive forces balance. This construction gives the impression that if you use a self-contained circle of magnets and force them into another self-contained circle of slightly different aligned magnets, then the evasive movement of one of the circles, the circle that is movable mounted, is perpetual, because a situation arises again and again from which this closed circle of magnets wants to escape. Due to the fact that magnetic fields are invisible, a viewer can expect virtually anything, including the unexpected, such as sustained movement. Let's take a closer look at the self-contained magnetic circuits. There must be a shifting of the magnets in order for them to be in a state of perpetual tension. When we add a magnet to the outer ring, this imbalance occurs. Now, before we can use gravity instead of magnetism, to represent forces, we need to see how this comparison works. The hollow in the glass block represents the attractive force that exists between the magnetic fields. The marble sphere represents the impact of those forces. The poles of the magnets are identified by the colors red and blue, with red representing the north pole and blue representing the south pole. Different poles attract each other, like poles repel each other. In our example, a lateral displacement of the magnets against each other results in the ball actively rolling up out of the cavity. Force must be used for this, because the ball wants to roll back into the hollow. Even if it's a material such iron or steel, that does not normally have a magnetic field by itself, but is magnetic, a hollow is created because a magnetic attraction takes place. This is shown here by the steel ball. If we bring like poles closer together, the opposite effect results. A hill is formed and the marble ball wants to roll down. The magnets want to avoid each other. In our representation, no distinction is made between several magnetic fields that affect the same object, in this case the sphere. It's all about the total force impact. When a non-magnetic force tries to lift an object out of the magnetic field, it shows up by lifting the marble sphere. The ball wants to continue to follow gravity and fall into the hollow. Let's get back 
to our imbalance in the closed rings of magnets. The large number of magnets make a representation very complex, so we reduce the number but keep the imbalance. In this constellation, there is always exactly one magnet shown below, in the preferred position, in which it is exactly opposite to a magnet with an opposite pole. Its counterpart on the other side, pictured above, is poised right between two opposite poles. All other magnets are shifted against each other and exert their force in the direction of the nearest opposite pole. But because every magnet has a counterpart that exerts exactly the same opposing force, all forces within this symmetrical system cancel each other out. Look at the blue balls. Either they can roll down the slope into the hollow or they are forced to roll up the hill. It is always the same number of balls rolling down and rolling up and always the same incline. The forces cancel each other out, as expected. The imbalance becomes the balance. This balance prevents self-sustaining movement. The system rocks a little, then stays in the state of least repulsion. This is independent of whether the magnets are arranged in a row or on a flat surface. Symmetric systems cannot maintain imbalance. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel if you dare. See you on my next video. Have fun!